Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Pamela's Crochet and Knit Corner. I am Pam and I am a crocheter who knits a bit. On this channel we kick it old school style, so that means I do not edit. You may want to grab that pen and pad and take some notes. I have a lot of new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me in my little corner of the interweb world. And I hope that you will subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I put up a podcast. Welcome back to my regular subscribers. This video is a bonus episode. It is a tag. The tag is Crochet and Yarn Tag by Krista of The Secret Yarnery. She didn't tag me, but Kim the Crafty Nomad did. So I am going to answer the July top 10 questions for you. I figure we can sit and chat, have some coffee or the beverage of your choice, and I will answer the questions and it'll give you a chance to get to know a little bit more about my maker life. So this beautiful, beautiful tumbler that I am holding with my tasty coffee in it was designed for me by OVW, that's One Virtuous Woman, that's Marcel, and I like pink things and I love ladybugs. I put ladybugs on everything that I make, <clears throat> pardon me, and I like bling. So she designed this exactly the way I want it. I love it. It's one of my favorite tumblers. It keeps everything nice and warm or nice and cold. So cheers, get you something to drink and let's do the tag. Okay, let's get started. July top 10. Number one, to stitch marker or not to stitch marker? Are you a stitch marker person? If so, and how do you use them? I am absolutely a stitch marker person. I love stitch markers and I do utilize them for everything that I make. Because I knit also too, there are different types of stitch markers that are made for knitters and there are stitch markers that are made for crocheters. That's just my opinion. Um, I love them all. <laughs> the plastic ones, the um, frou-frou ones that I order from different makers and from Etsy. Um, I order from Amazon as well. Um, I love stitch markers. Um, it's very important for me to mark the beginning and end of a project, especially when I'm working in the round. And when I'm knitting, I need to know if there's an increase on one end, I mark it with a stitch marker. I also mark the uh, front side as opposed to the wrong side because that's important too. Yes to the stitch markers. I absolutely love them. I am going to be reading the questions off of my Kindle, so I will be looking down. Pardon me for just one moment. I'll be right back. I'm back. My apologies for that. So, yes to stitch markers. Absolutely. Love them. Need them. And I use them all. Okay, number two. Do you do anything special to take care of your hands and wrist. Funny you should ask. I actually do have a video where I made um, some hand exercises. I didn't make the hand exercises, but I made a video with hand exercises. So I'm just doing, this is what I call the helicopter. I'm just whirling my wrist around and doing different things and stretching my fingers. And one day as I was doing that, I thought I should make a video and just share this with other people. I am not a doctor, so do it um, however you feel you can. I will link that video below because I do take care of my hands. Um, 
I do those exercises, then I also switch from crocheting to knitting. I switch because there's different tensions uh, for uh, different things. Um, sometimes I grip, I have a death grip on those needles. I don't know why. I am a tight knitter and I am a tight crocheter. So I have to um, take care of my hands and my wrists. Sometimes you just need to stop. You need to put the project down and not do anything for a day or two. That is very hard for me, but um, I do do it. Um, that way I am able to crochet and knit longer once I resume doing what I love to do. So I will leave the link to my um, hand exercise video below and hopefully you'll check that out. Moving on. What are your crochet goals? This is number three. What are your crochet goals this summer? Um, I didn't really have any goals per se, but I have been involved, thankfully, in quite a few things. Um, number one is the seasonal Yarny YouTube Hop. So that's seasonal every season that's hosted by Kim the Crafty Nomad. We have to make something that um, represents our seasons where we reside at. So we've done spring, we've done summer, fall is coming. So stay tuned, I have finished my fall project. So I've been concentrating on working on um, each project uh, as it's due. Uh, also, I'm involved with making hats for the homeless. I found out about that through um, Jeanette of DOI Creations. And um, she mentioned that one of her subscribers uh, was in need of hats and scarves for the homeless. So I'm involved in that. I have quite a bit done and I will be sending that off in September. Um, we also just finished uh, the July Makes uh, 2022 Challenge. That was hosted by Jeanette of DOI Creations. It was to get us to get those projects that have been languishing, just kind of sitting there, those whips, um, get her done and get them all finished. And by the end of July, we were to show what we finished, you know, and present those. And I got uh, quite a bit done. I made several hats. Um, I finished a knit um, shawl and some other things. And so I was really happy to do that. That was a great incentive to um, get all of that done. So that's pretty much what I've been doing, you know, over the summer um, so far. I do need these. And I'm looking at my Kindle because the questions are on here. Um, what number are we? Number four. What are your favorite colors to crochet for the summer? Um, I like yellow. Yellow is so bright and sunny. Um, I love coral, uh, mint green white or a cream color, um, a very silvery gray also too. Um, I don't know, oh, there you can see it. The My hodgepodge bag, that was part of my um, summer Yarny YouTube Hop project. Um, I utilized um, several different uh, YouTube tutorials and I created a bag and you see the coral there, there's a mint green there, all of the colors I just named. Um, that is Michael's Craft Smart yarn. The variegated color is Hobby Lobby yarn. So it had all of those, those fun summer colors in it that I really um, enjoy um, utilizing during the summer. Okay, number five. If you could only use one hook for the rest of your life, what brand hook and hook size would it be? <clears throat> this is easy. K. I'm a K girl and I, because I am a tight knitter and I'm a tight crocheter, I always go up a hook size. Whenever a pattern calls for a J hook, I automatically go up to a K. I don't think I've ever made a hat out of an I or an H 
that would stand up in the corner by itself because I can't help it. I just knit tightly and I also crochet very tightly. So give me a K hook. Um, when I first started out, I was a Susan Bates girl. And since then I have been introduced to Clover. Where Clover messed up, in my opinion, is their K hook is plastic. Mm, no likey. So I was introduced to tulips and tulip it is give me a k tulip put me on an island with some yarn there you have it <laughs> all right number six how old were you when you learned to crochet now this one i don't remember <clears throat> There's always been some type of crafting in my life. Uh, my mother crafted, um, she sewed, um, she played the keyboard, she was very musically inclined. She was also an educator. She was a teacher for many, many years and she's retired now. So I always remember yarn. I remember a latch hook rug set. I remember um, a poncho. I remember a poncho. I don't remember anything specifically until I became an adult, okay? An adult adult. And that's when um, I started knitting straight needles. I would use the fun fur. I would knit the fun fur scarves. And I also used Vanna's Choice. That was my yarn of choice if I knit a scarf out of yarn. And so I made so many scarves. And then I, I don't remember exactly when I started crocheting. I know I was an adult. And then I started crocheting. And um, my good friend's mom taught me how to crochet a scarf um, going under both loops. And I made a video about that um, a while ago also too. So I made a ton of those. And then a good friend of mine who I work with, she was an avid crocheter. And so we used to crochet in the lunchroom and she taught me how to do the shell stitch. So I made an entire blanket for my husband out of the shell stitch using Simply Soft yarn. And he still has that blanket and no, it has not peeled to the point of where it looks horrible. It still looks good. Wash, dry, it still looks great. Um, so. I'm not really sure, but in 2016 is when I heard about YouTube from a friend of mine who designs jewelry and was also crocheting beanies. Um, she sent me a little snippet of the video on how she crochets her beanies. I've known her for years and she only sells her beanies during the winter time. So I picked up on that and then I started, she said, watch YouTube. And so when I went to YouTube, it was a wrap. It was over. I picked up on the crochet tutorials, the knitting tutorials, and from there I just kind of learned and expanded and it was YouTube University. Okay, my Kindle will turn off. Okay. Number seven. What are your tips for getting yarn on sale or for cheap? Coupons. Um, get your coupons, coupons, get your coupons. Excuse me. Mm, coffee is so good, so tasty. Okay. Get your coupons, okay? If you can, put the Michaels app on your phone and the Joann's app on your phone. Um, sign up for their email uh, because they will send you coupons via email. They'll let you know whenever there's a sale. Um, Knitpicks, Knitpicks is a fantastic place to get yarn and to get yarn deals also too. If you want your notions like a Swift and a ball winder, uh, needles, everything, they have everything there. And 
Nick Picks has, they, they send you this magazine. See here, it says summer sale. They send you this magazine once a month. So in here, there are, the Hawthorne yarn is so pretty. I do like hand dyed yarn as well as acrylic. I am not a yarn snob. See, they'll introduce you to new colors. Look at that. So there's lots of information in here. There are patterns. Um, there's a ton of information in here. Your notions, everything. So nitpicks, they always have sales as well. And um, coupons, when you watch other um, creators, they usually let you know about the... Um, sales that are going on. Now, everybody's in a different area, but you can still check out your area because you never know. Uh, for instance, Hirschner's is a great place that I just discovered. I heard about it from Ross of Smells Like Yarn. He is no longer on YouTube, but he is on Instagram. He is a knitter and he loves Hirschner's. Um, we don't have one here. I'm in California and I'm in Southern California in the Inland Empire. But I was in a live with Kim the Crafty Nomad a couple of weeks ago, and she was um, sharing her Hirschner's um, the, uh, yarn that she got from there. And the MVP caught my eye because those are team colors. If you don't know, I am a huge, huge football fan, NFL, college, love it, love it all. And so I was asking her about that. Get the coupon code uh, for shipping. And so I was like, okay, let me try this now. My fingers are very sensitive. I don't use every kind of yarn simply because it does not feel good on my fingers. So I thought, okay, everyone has talked about Worsted 8, Hirschner's Worsted 8. Everyone has talked about this yarn. So I'm like, it can't be all, it, it's got to be good, I'm thinking. So Kim, she's showing her colors and everything, and I'm like, okay. Let me hop on. So when I get off her live, I go straight to the Hirschner's website. Sure enough, they're having a sale and I got the coupon code for shipping. So it was a really good deal. And I finally got some worsted eight Hirschner's. I will talk about this in another video, but I was super stoked that I was able to grab some of these colors and I did get some of the team colors, but I'll talk about those in another video. So coupons, coupons, coupons. And then there's Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby um, always has their sale every other week, their 30% off sale. It's a great time to grab whatever it is that you need. When they have their red tag sale, that's a wonderful time to stock up. I utilize that time to get yarn that I normally wouldn't buy on a regular. Um, that's what I use the red tag sale for. Of course, I do a touch test and um, I was able to get some really nice yarn this time that I normally don't use, but I have used it because I like it. So that's my chance to try out, you know, different things. And it's a very, very, very good price. So, um, Get your circulars from different places, and if you can, put the apps on your phone and watch the content creators, um, because pretty much if there's a sale where they're at, it's coming to a place near you, so just check that out. <clears throat> okay. What is your favorite holiday? Number eight, Thanksgiving, hands down. No stress, all you need to do is cook. One Thanksgiving, oh God, this was many years ago, we went to Palm Springs and just had a great time. They served Thanksgiving dinner where we were at. So Thanksgiving is, you know, it's food, fun, family. Um, you don't have to worry about gifts. There's not that pressure that there is of Christmas. My gosh, we're hearing about Christmas now. And it's like, really? And all the way up to then, it's, yeah, no. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. Sorry for the rant. 
All right, uh, number nine, what is your favorite benefit of crochet? How has it helped you? Mental health is very important. And when I say mental health, that doesn't necessarily mean that there is something wrong or that something catastrophic has happened. We've all had something happen in our lives that's a trigger, okay? So we're all dealing with something. And I think just being able to know that you have a craft that you feel comfortable doing and that you are good at. Um, it's amazing to be able to take this ball of yarn and however long from now, it can be a hat, it'll be a scarf, it could be fingerless mitts, um, a cowl, it could be anything that you want it to be. And that's really powerful to me to know that I can walk into a yarn store, a craft store, go over to the yarn section, and there's a sensory right here that just starts tingling, you know, and I'm just excited. Um, like Louise says, and most of you guys know who Louise is, um, yarn is life. It truly is. Um, it's the string that binds us all together in this community. It's what we have in common. And that does something to me up here. It keeps this all together and keeps it going. If I have a horrible day at work, um, which lately it's been terrible, people are just so rude. Um, I'm sorry, I digressed. I know once I get home or even I go to my car because I keep a project in my vehicle at all times, tucked away nicely in my project bags. I love project bags. Um, and that way I can, I have that hour to just relax and work on my project and just feel all of that tenseness ooze out of me while I have my project in my hand. So yeah, it's just yarn is life. It truly is to me. Um, and I'm sure it is to most of us and it's very comforting and I like to keep my hands busy and I love to see the finished project. Love, love, love that. It's like, I made that, you know, and I look at some of the things that I've made and go, I made that. It's awesome. Number 10. What do you do with your FOs, your finished objects? <laughs> uh, would you like a tour of my garage? Um, yeah. Whew, wow. What I don't donate um, to homeless or uh, different organizations, um, they are in these protective bags that you remove the air out of, and they are stacked into plastic tubs, and they are in my garage. And I don't know if you can see right here, right there you see the corner of it that's a blue steamer trunk and it is full of cowls beanies scarves lots of things that i have made over the years um, it's full of things also too i would love to sell my items i just haven't decided on how um, i am not a good photographer as you know i don't edit and i don't want to put all of that time into doing those things i like the making process um, i have sold items and i will sell items if you're interested in something i will do that um, i do have my own items that i made for myself so i keep those separately in my closet here in southern california the weather is not conducive to you see that beautiful shawl right there I mean, we, I do, I pray for the cool weather um, and just to be able to leave the house and have on a scarf or a cowl. By the time it's time for lunch, it's off. Um, it's just not. So selling the items here is different also too. You have to find the right niche. And I'm still looking for that. I was prepared when the world shut down. My sister is an entrepreneur. She's also an educator, but her side businesses 
are she has always been into that and she's taken my things and sold them we were supposed to go to craft fairs and things like that and the world shut down so um i have lots of things i am ready um in the meantime i do continue to make it's who i am it's a big part of me and i have things for gifts um I gift to family members. All of my family members are handmade worthy. Um, by that, I mean that they'll take care of the item. Um, so I'm ready. So that was the last question. And thank you so much, Kim, for tagging me. I enjoyed sitting here chatting with everyone. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it as well. Um, the person that I'm going to tag is Jillian of Remedy Fibers. I have been watching her for years, ever since she was cuckoo for cowls all those years ago. And she has definitely blossomed. She has uh, redefined her channel. Um, she's a knitter and a crocheter. And she is a lovely person and I enjoy her channel. So Jillian, tag your it if you see this. And Kim, thank you again for tagging me. I appreciate that. And to my subscribers, thank you for hanging out with me. Um, I am going to make another video soon. Be sure to, to uh, don't forget about the Seasonal Yarny YouTube Hop. Um, there are a lot of us makers that are making some amazing things and for you to hop from channel to channel and be able to check everything out is amazing so that's coming up fall is coming so stay tuned so thank you for hanging out with me please be kind and take care of yourselves and stay crafty i will see you guys later bye for now